I'm a guy. <sighs> oh, wow, that feels good to say. I'm a, I'm a guy. I'm a trans man, and... If you know me, this is uh, not a surprise. <laughs> um, there are six people who who have known this, uh, who I trusted with this information for years. And to the rest of you, hello. <laughs> um, this is not going to be a huge surprise to a lot of people, and I understand that. Um, Gosh, you know, I've, I've come out to all of my social media, except for YouTube. And if I can be honest, I think the reason is that I'm scared of you. Because I don't know you, and I don't trust you. And that's not all of you, it's just, YouTube in itself is this kind of... how do I put it? There's a lot of different people who follow me on YouTube. Twitter, I trust the people there. Um, you know, it, they're the people who interact with me on a daily basis and they send me fan art and they're super sweet. And I, I think I trust my Twitter audience the most out of all of my social media if I could rank them. Um, but I've, I've, YouTube is last and I just thought maybe people could just figure it out. You know, I don't have to say anything, but that's me being cowardly. That's me hiding, which I've already been doing for my entire life. You know, there is such a freedom in talking about this and and finally saying it out loud i i have felt this way my entire life and it's one of those things that i just keep shoving deep down inside and i think if i don't talk about it it won't be real you know i kept thinking well you know life is going to be real hard for you if you're trans so can you just not be Jesse, can you just fucking be normal for a second in your life? But what is normal? What is it really? I... <laughs> you can pretend all your life and you could die with that information when you're 80, 90 years old and no one would ever know that you're gay, that you're bi, that you're trans, that you're whatever. Whatever it is. And no one would ever know. And that's such a creepy thought to me. It's a creepy thought that all of my closest friends would know something so deeply personal about me. Something that truly explains who I am as a person and is integral to understanding me as a human being. And no one else would know. And I think that's... That's one of the reasons that I decided to come out. It is, it's Pride Month right now, which is June. And I apologize that I've been so serious this video, but I, I am so deeply afraid. And that's a problem. You know, the more we talk about this, the more I get comfortable with myself. Because I'm not truly comfortable with myself. Just because someone comes out as gay or bi, whatever the fuck, if someone comes out, it doesn't mean that they're comfortable with themselves, you know? I love myself. I think that I'm a great human being. I think that I'm funny and smart and talented. And I'm good to people. And I hold doors open for whoever wants to come in. You know, I don't just hold the door for ladies. I think that it is a human thing that we should just hold doors open for people. I think people deserve to have doors held open for them. I am still getting comfortable with myself. And I think it's important for people to see that I am uncomfortable. 
living in this skin. Because social media is this perfect place where you can display to the world all the perfect parts of yourself. No one sees you break down at night. No one sees you when you're at your worst on social media, if you're doing it mo like most people do. You know, they, uh, they only see the perfect selfies. They don't see the 90 selfies you take where they, uh, they suck. <laughs> and you get to display who you are as a person so that people will like you. And I don't care if I'm liked. I don't care what you think of me. I just want you to see me. So. I'm a guy. I'm a trans man. And. I love you. And I want you to understand that. YouTube, I'm scared of you. Because <laughs> anyone... Not like even someone who's not a subscriber of mine, they could just come on here and fill it with hate and gross shit. And that scares me. Not because of me. I don't care what you say to me. I don't care what you do to me. I just don't want other trans people or gay people or bi people or anyone to see the hate and feel less of themselves because of it. I feel like I need to protect you but you know what it doesn't even matter because i don't mod my comments i have two lovely gentlemen who do it for me so i'm not scared of that i'm just maybe i should explain by saying the main reason that i came out this month because i started talking about that but this video is completely unscripted so i don't like all of my videos, I should say. I never script anything. <laughs> but um, the main reason that I... I wasn't going to come out. I wasn't. I don't know how long I would have gotten in life without it. But um, this month is June. It's Pride Month. It is a month where we take pride in ourselves for who we are, even if society says that we are lesser beings or whatever the fuck. And I didn't think I had to tell anyone, really, because my close friends know. And that's all that really mattered to me, is my friends love me. And I know who I am, and I love myself. So whatever. And as much as I like to deny that and, and forget that I'm in the public eye, because when you are a voice actor and, and write internet things... It is a put it on the internet and forget about it kind of thing. I don't really remember that people actually know who I am or what I do until I like go to conventions or I'm recognized in public. And then it just all comes flying back to me like, oh shit, right. <laughs> and as much as I like to forget that people know who I am and stuff, I do have an amount of influence People listen to what I say and people pay attention to me and I need to use that power for good. And there are so many people out there who are afraid. They're afraid to be themselves. They're afraid to tell people who they are. And if I can just help one person feel less alone, then I will endure whatever it takes to make that happen you know i i i will be embarrassed or scared or whatever the fuck as long as i can help one person and june 1st happened and i just did it i just did it i i went on twitter and i typed up a thing and i sat there in my room with my phone in my hand for fucking what felt like an hour with my thumb over the tweet button being like, there's no coming back from this. If you, if you hit that button, everything's going to change. But everything's not really going to change, is it? Because I've always been this person, even if I've been in denial and even if I've shoved those feelings deep, deep down inside because it would be hard to be myself. It would be hard to be myself, but no one can be me but me. 
and I just need to do it. I just stop being a wuss. Like, just fucking do it, Jesse. And I did. And it was just, I don't know what I expected. I don't know what I expected. But I didn't expect the response that I got. And that was 100% just approval. Just everyone was just so sweet. And everyone was so loving. And I... I, I just got, I got so many messages from personal friends or from people I didn't know, people who liked my work, people who just saw the retweet of my tweet and uh, congratulated me anyway. I, I was, I, it made me so happy. It was... I, I just, I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't that. And I accomplished my goal. Because I got one or two messages from people saying that they, one person was that they were able to come out to their family because of me. And there was another uh, person who said that their their cousin was able to come out as a trans boy because of me and and that is just so incredible you know i just i'm just some fucking nerd talking to, to a camera you know i i like to deny that that i like to say no one fucking pays attention to me but like i do i do have an influence and i have to use it i have to i have to do some good in this world before I leave it, you know? I, I can't just... You know, there's a saying that is... Be the person your cat thinks you are. And I find that saying very inspirational. <laughs> and I feel like I do... I have no obligation to be anyone but myself, but... I do feel like I need to be the person that you guys think I am. You think of me as this confident motherfucker that is good with girls and is smart and funny, whatever the fuck. Truth is, I'm really not good with girls. Uh, sorry to burst that bubble. But the other stuff I think I can do, hopefully. <laughs> I was being a coward. I was just... I wasn't being a coward by not coming out publicly. I was being a coward by not admitting to myself what was true. By shoving it deep down all these years, I and not thinking about it, you know, it, it, and it takes a toll on a person. Now that I've come out, I just keep hearing the same thing. Everyone just says I'm so much happier. Everyone says that I've got my smile back and I hadn't realized I lost it, you know? And you guys wouldn't either because, I, again, this is social media. You only see what I want you to see. But right now, I want you to see me. And this is me. All right? It's so important to me that you guys don't feel alone. And it's not a huge stretch to think that's, um, I, I mean, that I might be right in assuming that a lot of my audience here is going to be cool with this and stick around or whatever. If you want to leave, leave. I don't give a shit, you know? Um, but... It's not a huge stretch because, you know, LGBT, QI, shit, whatever the fuck, you know, uh, you're, you're already subscribed to a lesbian. You know, it's not a huge stretch to think that you could like me for me. You know, I'm a straight dude. <laughs> I like girls and I'm still me. I'm still Jesse. And that's. I think what you need to understand, if you have any doubt that I'm going to turn into another person, I'm not. I'm me. And the only difference is really going to be that I'm just happier. I'm just, I'm just happier to be around. And I want to keep making stuff for you guys. And, and I hope you'll give me that chance.
I thought I would take this opportunity to to answer some questions because I'm I'm sure there's a lot. If you don't follow me on other social media, then this is probably the first you're hearing of this, even though I've been out for um, 10 days. Wow. So I wrote down some questions. Um, the first one was, why now? Why am I telling you now? And I think I thoroughly explained that, so I'm going to skip that one. <laughs> Basically, I'm done being a pussy. Like, fucking... How long have you known? Um, I have known... I think I touched on this before, but I've I've known my whole life. There's always been something different about me. I didn't like hanging out with girls. I liked sports. I was I was the only female on the on the the baseball team. Everyone else was guys. I just thought girls ruined everything, you know. <laughs> I didn't want them at my sleepovers. I mainly was I basically was <laughs> It's just so s- silly that I ha- I didn't discover it earlier and that I was in such denial about it because it was so clear even at such a young age. I just, you know, I was basically a guy. I was, I was playing with the army men and all my sleepovers were with guys. I just, they were cooler and I related to them more and... All of my best friends growing up are, are guys, you know? I played men in all the musicals. <laughs> um, it's just very obvious. It's a very obvious thing. And I just didn't want life to get harder. So I didn't acknowledge it. And that's the sad truth of it. <laughs> I've never ever related to this body. and I, And I... Didn't understand what that was at first. I thought that I was just uncomfortable in dresses because dresses are uncomfortable, but nope. I, I, it's very difficult for me to explain to a cisgender person who you might be, what it is like to not be living in the body that you're supposed to have. But something that I can equate it to is, you know, if you go to war and you lose an arm you kind of get like a phantom limb where your arm isn't actually attached to you anymore, but you feel like it's supposed to be there and you just know it is and it's weird that it's not. And that's what I feel with my body. I should not have breasts. I should have pecs. And it's weird to me that I don't. And I felt uncomfortable every goddamn day of my life because of it. And I thought I was just uncomfortable. I thought I just had anxiety. Nope. Dysphoria. Fuck you. (laughs) I should have a penis, and I don't, and it sucks. My best friend is the best person in the fucking world. I love him so much, and he understands that there's no way that he can understand how I feel. He, there's no way that he can accurately know what it's like to be living in the body you're not supposed to. And so he mainly just listens to me and, and absorbs information and does research on his own in order to help me, and... And I'm just, I'm so fucking lucky for Jerry and Mike. They are my best friends in the world. And they've known this about me for a long time. And and they've both been really incredible. And I'm so lucky to have them. I think I'm going to move on to the next question. <laughs> Will I still be voicing vinyl slash Misty slash Revy slash whatever fill in the blank? Um, yes, I am in hell in this body. My voice should be lower. My blah, blah should be blah, blah, whatever the fuck. But this is my career. I'm an actor, you know, and not that I couldn't be an actor if I were to uh, physically fully transition into a man, but my career would be different. And I still have stories to tell right now. I still have things to do in this form, you know. I am voicing characters that are very important to me from a storytelling perspective as well as helping people feel more comfortable in their skin. And so I need to get my work done here before I can even think of that. So it's going to be a long while before I can even consider getting on tea, which is testosterone, which will make my voice change. Um, I'm going to be having top surgery because you can get it 
without uh, being on T. The the downstairs is a little more. Uh, it's more of a questionable area whether you can be on T and uh, get bottom surgery done. So I am going to have to consult my doctor and uh, we'll get back to you on that. I promise I will give you all the penis updates that you want. But yeah, the, t- uh, the top surgery should make me feel a lot less dysphoric. It should definitely, you know, because I'm just, I'm so uncomfortable every day. I don't know how to explain it to you. I wish I knew, <laughs> but... Just basically put yourself in the opposite sex's body. It'd be cool for a day, right? But what if you had to be there for the rest of your life and you know you're not supposed to? You would start to feel gross after a while. You'd start to feel weird. There's, um, funny enough, I think there's something in one of the Assassin's Creeds where someone, I think a male is put into the memories of a female it's very jarring for them and stuff, and it's it's it was very interesting to hear because it's an audio log. Uh, I'll have to revisit that to see where it's from, but very interesting stuff. But basically, that you're just you're uncomfortable every day. <laughs> Am I planning on physically transitioning? I just covered that, so I. That's all the questions I had. Um, life is gonna get harder for me from this point on, but you know what? It's going to get easier after that. I just, I'm just gonna, gotta stick it through, you know? And hopefully I can show people that, that they don't have to be so scared. That just because something is scary doesn't mean you should just ignore it for the rest of your life. You know, you gotta feel your feelings sometimes and you gotta know yourself and, and accept yourself. And then you can grow from there. I'm just so much happier. I'm so much happier. I am. I'm writing more. I'm getting more work done. I'm voicing. I've got an idea for a movie that's probably going to happen down the pipeline. And I feel incredible. And you know what? Any coming out is scary. Telling, standing here and sitting in my case and telling people who you are is a it's a scary thing. I'm not going to downplay it or anything. But any bad feelings that I'm getting right now for telling people who I am is so much better than the uncomfortableness that I felt every day hiding myself and living a lie. So it's worth it. It just is. I know people are going to ask for pronouns and shit, so yes, if you wanted to start referring to me as he or him or whatever the fuck, that'd be great. I'd fucking love that. Um, On a daily basis, I'm used to hearing she and her, so I won't, like, cringe at the mention or anything uh, for now, but um, if you want to stand out in my mind or make me feel good, He, him would be great. (laughs) Once I start trying to pass, I think that's the deadline of like, hey, call me he, him. Like I have a flat chest and I'm getting a peanut. Like, can you, you know, Um, but it is a, a, I understand that it is a transition period for everyone, you know, Uh, Mike and Jerry are doing their best and they're catching themselves when they use the wrong words. Um, When they call me she or something, they change it right away and that's great um and i really appreciate it you know so um that's i think that's basically all i wanted to say um this is good this is good news you know i'm finally starting to chill the fuck out and accept myself and you know what fuck it it's 2018 let's just be chill, you know? If you're hiding something from yourself, just start, like, thinking about it, and maybe you can, like, accept yourself or some shit, you know? I'm, I've am i started working out a lot more. I feel stronger 
I have actual muscles on my arms now. It's incredible. <laughs> God, I don't know uh, if there's anything else I really wanted to say with this, but I felt like I, I had to say something, you know, because I'm going to look different in future videos. I'm going to be filming a live action series um, this, sometime this year, maybe in the fall or the winter. And I'm not hiding anymore. I'm just not. I'm putting that behind me and I'm being honest with myself because that's what you would want me to do. And you know what? That's what I want me to do too. <laughs> so anyway, there'll be some videos coming up uh, soon. I love you guys and love yourself today. Okay. In any in any of the ways, wink, wink, wink. Is it is it winking if you wink with both eyes? It's not. That's just blinking. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>